Robin Lundberg here with the front office's Jeremy Wu. We all know about the top prospects, Marvin Bagley, DeAndre Ayton, and others, but what about some of the players who have raised their stocks so far this college hoop season? We're going to go over four risers courtesy of Jeremy. So, Jeremy, who is rising up the draft board? Definitely. Well, I think the first guy we're going to talk about is Trey Young from Oklahoma, uh, who was an All-American coming out of high school, but came in with a little bit less fanfare. You know, I think guards who score are, I think, a little bit more dime a dozen, but he has proven to, you know, have shattered that mold. Um, you know, he's scoring at a really efficient rate, taking a ton of shots, you know, making a lot of plays for an Oklahoma team that's sort of not, you know, not that much talent around him. So he's really elevated that team. And if you look at the way he's scoring, you know, he'll come off the screen, catch it. You know, he can make those tough body control shots. I think the question is just with his, you know, he's not the greatest athlete, and I think he knows it. You know, he's very reliant on his craft. You know, how much separation will he be able to get from the defenders? I think that's going to be sort of the key for him. But uh, there's a lot to like, and he's a fun guy to watch, too. Who's the next player that's rising up your list? Yeah, absolutely. Well, Mikhail Bridges from Villanova, I think, is a guy who is catching a lot of eyes, turning a lot of heads. I think he's become, you know, the guy for Villanova, really, the go-to guy, him and Jalen Brunson. Uh, you know, he had a great game at the Jimmy V Classic here in New York against Gonzaga. A lot of scouts were there. I was there. I think I buy his jumper. You know, he's been able to do it on a consistent basis in the last few seasons. He's a junior now, and uh, he, can, he defends, you know, he's got a, like a seven-foot wingspan, and he's 6'6", six, six. so he can defend, you know, one through four probably at the, at the next level. You know, he did a great job against Gonzaga guarding, you know, Josh Perkins, the point guard, and then switching down onto Killian Tilly, who's their, you know, their best big guy. So I think that versatility cannot be undersold. Speaking of wings, another wing on your list next. Yeah, absolutely. Kevin Knox uh, from Kentucky, I think, is, emerges as Kentucky's best prospect. You know, every year they have, you know, five or six guys. They've got to have right. one, though, that's like <laughs> flying up the draft right. board. And so yeah. it's, you know, it was, gonna, it, was it going to be Knox or was it going to be Hamidou Diallo? I think Knox is the, the more interesting NBA prospect. He's become a guy who I think is now a small forward. It wasn't clear coming out of high school whether he'd be a four or stuck between positions, uh, but he's shooting the three really well. You know, he needs to get tougher. He needs to find ways to involve himself in the game when he's not scoring. If you look at a guy like Jonathan Isaac last year, who kind of rose based on potential, based on his body, you know, went to Orlando at number six, I think Knox is the kind of guy who can sort of sneak up into that six through eight range. When we're talking about Kentucky, we're expecting guys to get drafted high, but your final riser comes from a school where that might not necessarily be the case. Right. Kyrie Thomas from Creighton is a guy who has made a really strong impression, uh, you know, taking more of the offensive load for them. He was more of a role player last season. They had a, you know, they're a good program. And, uh, Thomas, I think, is kind of in that, you know, top 30 to 40 fringe right now. Like, he, you know, his defensive performances have been encouraging. You know, he can guard point guards. He stays with guys. He's real tough. You know, he's the kind of guy who can fit into a lot of teams. And I think that has value, especially if you're a good team sort of at the back of the first round, you know, trying to maybe round out your backcourt. Uh, he's a guy you, you know, might, you might look at. So he, you know, he's not a lot to go in the first round, but I think if he continues on this trajectory, it's going to be hard to ignore the, you know, the three-point shooting and the defense. There you have it, the guys rising up NBA draft boards, courtesy of Jeremy Wu. For all your NBA draft needs, make sure you check out the front office.